So back with another race and we're at the White Circuit again near Bradford and another three fours race uh, starting off here in a group of about I think 20 and yeah a bit of a difference to the last time I raced this circuit because now we're doing the cobbled section which they built into the circuit uh, a new addition and I think quite a good addition um, which uh, yeah I'll show you later on but coming up uh, through this slight incline and as it kind of slows down I take an opportunity to kind of move up in the field because I kind of started at the back there as we come up to this hairpin uh, you just want to it's always good to be a bit further up the field if you can so yeah sweep round there straight away the power's going down into the 700 watts and just trying to keep in the wheels it really strings the field out uh, after that hairpin because of how slow it goes still not enough watts to keep people behind me as a couple of people go past but yeah come down into this straight and probably the only place on the circuit you really notice the winds we had a headwind down here um, but yeah I mean you can see most people freewheeling as as long as you can keep in the wheels of other people it wasn't really a problem and yeah come down here there's also no point going fast because you've got quite a tight turn then into this uphill cobble section so yeah as you can see they're not really gnarly cobbles I mean I guess obviously they've been put in purpose built for cycle racing um, and I think they've done a good job with them to be fair makes the circuit a bit more interesting and yeah probably kind of coming up to become one of my favorite circuits now come around that other tight bend and again power's got to go down kind of as people are, are pushing on out of the turn and then a downhill section here which ends up usually is quite a far section obviously the feels not going pushing on too much now but so I use that as an opportunity to to kind of take a few more places up and uh, try and get myself closer to the front of the field then people are pushing on as we come back up this incline kind of yeah there 600 watts or so uh, just trying to keep in the wheels really even though there's a tailwind and yeah I guess you can see again everyone's single file pretty much uh, strung out and yeah, just trying to make sure that I don't lose the wheel in front of me really and just try and stay stay on that wheel in front, stay as a group. And uh, yeah, and also to just maintain position really. Take a, Try and take another opportunity here as it slows down to, to move up. Um, as I do want to stay near the front of the field when I can. Mainly because for this reason, like you can see how easy it is there just to kind of not predict how someone's going to go around that corner and the gap opens up so quickly to the wheel in front here you can see I've lost a bit of uh, ground to the people in front of me so I'm pushing to get back on but luckily it kind of once you get to a wheel in front on this downhill section you can usually get back a bit of energy as you free wheel down. And then my aim coming into the cobbled section each time was just to make sure that I always had an inside line and because uh, I was able to take that corner quite well. You can see I kind of managed to create a bit of a gap there from the people behind me uh, and definitely noticed that that was a bit of my strength um, on that corner there. I managed to get someone just at the top there, get another place up and uh, yeah, keep my speed go rolling around there which was quite a difficult corner to get, mainly because it's kind of almost got two apexes. Um, you don't want to turn in too early, but yeah, move along a bit later into the lap. Um, I've actually got Harriet on the front here. So because there were uh, only four women in the women's race, they, they joined our race. And yeah, I'm sure she'll correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think she was trying to put the pressure on the field here. I think more she just wanted to utilize her cornering strength and make sure she could pick her line going down this corner because you can see kind of how valuable it can be um, just by sweeping round in a, on a good line there. You already can open up a few bike lengths, force the people behind to to work, to, to push on and catch. Um, the Otley rider there, Jack, actually sees that he's got a bit of a gap on some people and, and decides to push on a bit. So then the, the chase begins behind, uh, just making sure I keep in the wheels and as we go down this headwind section uh, as the uh, pressure's kind of increased. 
but yeah luckily wasn't too hard to get him and yeah able to just then free will kind of down the rest of it recoup some energy I also then after realizing that the cobbles are going well for me decide to make a move unfortunately this guy also has the same idea and kind of cuts my momentum off just at the top as I was getting a few places up but yeah still quite nice there to be able to use the cobbles and and move up a few positions as the two rides ahead now pushing on so I've got to make sure that I put some power down to try and help us catch them um yeah so I'm just yeah trying to well putting quite a bit into this to uh to to try and catch them move over and this guy really pushes on and I kind of wasn't quite prepared for that so yeah should have left that in a bit in hindsight in the tank so that I could have eased more easily got back on their wheels as they came past so obviously you can see quite a big effort there for me to get back on their wheels and um, luckily myself and this my teammate here Elliot uh, we're both, both able to get back to these leading riders but yeah at this point yeah, it's power's quite high for me heart rate's uh heart rate's quite high it's uh yeah struggling quite a bit just to even keep on with the front riders here but uh yeah that's the important thing is that keeping with that front group so being able to do that so far although as we come up the first hairpin you can see someone's just rolled off the front there so not ideal and uh, as we come round, i think he's already increasing his gap really to us i managed to take the corner quite well um so yeah i kind of use that to try and push on and make sure that i'm with these riders but as you can see not no one really wants to push on the front down the downhill bits so the field actually kind of slows down a bit there uh contrary to the sped up footage that i've shown you um so yeah the guy's still staying in front um i'm pushing on here uh to try and rotate round and help make us catch the uh the guy out in front and uh yeah just trying to do my bit for the the field to try and catch that that lone breakaway uh, and yeah i've got my teammate again on the f behind me roll let him roll through again <laughs> they kind of really power through and i kind of wasn't quite ready for that so it takes me quite a bit of effort to to just keep on the wheels that are going past and yeah i think i need to in hindsight or for next time make sure that i'm ready for people coming through after I've done a turn on the front and not just putting everything into my turn when I <laughs> then peel off. So just coming up to Harriet's wheel here, she waves me through so I push on and try and catch uh, this group ahead. We've got two riders off the front now and then this group of about four or five behind so I want to make sure I don't get left behind them. Yeah a lot of effort coming out of that hairpin corner, everyone in front of me sprinting away as well so uh, yeah making sure I try and keep up with this group in front. Keeping on the wheels as we come here and then again I use the cobbles as an opportunity. I squeeze through here, <laughs> just let the guy know that I'm coming up and uh, yeah, then work on making sure that yeah, there's another gap ahead of me now that I've got to try and close to the, the group ahead. So try and push on past there. Luckily get to the wheels. Um, yeah bit later in the the next lap and we're still pushing on now as a kind of group with still two riders out in front again out the hairpin 600 watts to push on and and make sure that i stay with these people behind again another gap has kind of grown in front of the guy ahead so hopefully i'm going to go past him i think or or now i choose to sit in his wheel as we're going down uh into the headwind and luckily this guy puts in a bit of an effort and we uh, we roll down to catch them up uh, before we get to the cobbled section. Into the cobble section, doing what I only know best and uh, yeah, trying to make a move up the inside. Managed to get past one and then onto this group of, of uh, four ahead of me. skip forward a bit as I think we're just kind of yeah keeping together uh got Jack here from Motley checking behind him which uh, I probably should have seen as a move <laughs> a sign that he was about to make a move he sprints off the front I know I'm pretty sure I just didn't have it in my legs there to follow so 
yeah, I wait for some other people to follow and just try and stick in their wheels. His attack is uh, is short lived, but just as we're getting up to him, he, he goes again. Uh, the front two still have a bit of a distance ahead of us, so you can just see them on the other side of the hairpin now. Uh, they're working well together, so yeah, it's, it's, it's tough work trying to catch them. Come out of the hairpin, again, the power goes down. Uh, it's quite a, yeah, it's, it's a good circuit for that, the fact there's nowhere really to hide. Everyone's got to sprint out the corners because uh, they slow you down so much. But yeah, luckily I'm able to keep with this group. Still have, and I've kind of got away with not doing too much work on the front. I think my teammate Elliot here maybe has a bit of a word with Jack to try and say, let's just work as a as a group and, and make sure we catch those two ahead. Uh, actually, on that bit of cobble, so two of the group got away. I was doing a bit of work on the front, and I'm not really sure what happened here. Watching back, I still don't know what happened. Jack kind of just rolls through and, and rolls off, and suddenly I've got this massive gap ahead of me try, trying to keep... I think I was just on the limit and just couldn't push on much more. Elliot goes past me, so I'm like, right, I've got to keep this wheel, otherwise I've got I'm just gonna be stranded on my own on the course. So yeah, luckily managed to stick onto his wheel as he pushes on, but I didn't have a lot left at this stage. I was uh, pretty much on the limit. But yeah, we work together, we try and work together, still getting used to that, but uh to try and catch the group in front that we've just been dropped off. So we're rolling through and at this point I remember saying to Elliot I don't think I've got this like I don't think I can catch them I just don't have it in my legs and uh, he basically said don't worry they'll sit up at some point once they catch the two in front uh, we've just got to keep going and push on and I'm kind of glad he said that because otherwise I probably just would have given up but yeah we carried on working together rolling through uh, trying to catch the group in front and he was right they definitely so they did catch the two ahead uh, I'm not sure at which point it is but uh, there is a point in the race where they catch the two ahead on oh, they haven't done it yet so you saw the two there then the the four following we're uh, seven and eighth on the road keep rolling through working well together uh, but it's basically now just a two up time trial and uh, eventually yeah we kind of get to the point where we realise I think that we're not going to catch the people in front. Um, I think they did, they caught the two ahead, they slowed down uh, a little bit. We started to kind of catch them and then they just pushed on and uh, they kind of saw that we were catching them, started working together and yeah, we just didn't stand the chance. So quite a bit later into the race now, 35 minutes of the 40-ish minute race. Uh, just showing off my new 360 camera here as uh, hopefully I'll have some actually more interesting footage to use that for but yeah as Elliot comes through again we've been working well I think for the, about the last 20 minutes basically just been doing a, a two up time trial but we we're working well together and it was actually really good practice so I, I'm used to riding uh, chain gangs with my club where we've got kind of I don't know, six to ten uh, riders in a group and it's quite easy, you kind of do your turn and then you've got quite a long recovery but doing a two-up time trial was not something I'm that used to and was quite a different experience. I mean, obviously I know it wasn't a time trial but the equivalent of and so at the start when we started working together I found it really hard to gauge the effort that kind of you did on the front just after the other person had done their turn um, but yeah, managed to get a bit better at, at it towards the end. And then here we are with, we've got two laps to go and uh, I come alongside and we basically have a bit of a chat saying, we're not going to get caught by the group behind. We're not going to catch the group in front. Let's for the last lap, just uh, give it a bit of a sprint and have a little bit of a battle. So yeah, that's what we decided to do. So I go to the front making sure not to put too much power down. Um, yeah, I, I, I know we've got a bit of a gap. So as we're coming up to the like the finish straight, you can see on the other side of the grass, that's the group behind us. So yeah, we've got a bit of a gap over them, about half a lap. Uh, but yeah, as we come up to the finish line with one lap to go in the bell, that's when Elliot decides to make a move, pushing 800 watts there just to keep on his wheel and, and match that move. Uh, but luckily I'm able to do it. Um, 
so yeah, just managed to stay on his wheel there and I kind of decide, right, I'm going to try and play it a bit clever, try and actually use some tactics and just kind of sit on his wheel for a bit. So yeah, just biding my time, coming up to the hairpin and because of how the other laps have gone, I'm expecting him to kind of sprint out this corner. So I make sure to take a good line so I can be ready on his wheel. Uh, but he does and he kind of jed gradually increases the power. Um, so yeah, I just kind of try and match that power, make sure I stay on that wheel. And then same, coming into the headwind section, I know there's no point in me going to the front now, so I might as well just stay on his wheel, try and recover as much energy as I can with half a lap to go. You'll see on the right-hand side over on the grass, they're the uh, group that behind us, so yeah, we've still got ages. Then I choose to make my move, push to the front to make sure that I go into this cobble section first. Uh, because, yeah, as you see, I managed to get a bit of a gap. I know that this is my strength. So I'm like, right, I'm going to utilize this cobble section, push on, manage to get a few bike lengths and then disaster. I don't know what happened. I think I just lost traction on my tire and uh, I basically like my leg or my foot went out of my pedal and I cramped up and I just it was so painful. <laughs> and I just couldn't keep going. Uh, so I had to like just try and stretch it out, managed to get it back in. But at that point it was over, like Elliot was away and uh, yeah, just cruised around on my own to the finish. But for a respectable sixth place. So yeah, Elliot managed to get fifth, which is great. And yeah, I was a bit guided about that at the end. I um, At the same time, I also whacked my knee into <laughs> my handlebars, which is like the old classic cycling injury. So yeah, a bit frustrating. I wasn't able to keep that first group but I pretty much put everything into it. So was happy with the outcome. Definitely learned some things from it and that I'll take into my next races.